Okay, so here's a drawing I did in 2017. It was the very first, no, sorry, it was the second colored pencil drawing I ever did. Ever since then, it's bothered me, and I decided it was time to redraw that box. And let's see if we have any improvement. I'll be using the Stonehenge Warm White for this one. The other one was done on Strathmore heavyweight drawing paper, but they're about the same color. There's my line drawing, Oop, and now we're off to the races. My first box was done with Flick Studio Artist Color Pencils. And while I love those pencils, the color range isn't that wonderful. So for my redraw, I'm using my current Faber-Castell Polychromos. And my cream color and my ivory, yeah, they came in really handy for this one. One thing I decided to do back when I first started doing colored pencils, and I drew this fox, I took about eight hours to draw it. So I thought, well, even though I know a good picture is gonna take longer than that, I'm gonna set a time limit of eight hours and see if there's improvement in just eight hours of time drawing. I didn't do it all in one day, however, because of craziness of life, but I did keep it to eight hours. Using that ivory there. That's the color I would have loved to have in the Blick. The closest they came was cream. They have white and cream and their cream is a lot more yellow. This is one of the first drawings I've done where I, I didn't start with the eyes. And it started bugging me, so I had to start getting an eye in there. You can see I have another uh, separate piece of paper. It's the Stonehenge Warm White that I was testing colors on. That little brush, that is wonderful for blending with Gamsol. That's actually a small contour brush, makeup brush by e-l-f. E -L -F. It only costs a dollar and it is the best brush for getting in little places with Gamsol. I love it. Something else I love about Polychromos is they do have a lot of browns and orange tones that the Blick just don't have. And of course you add in the grays. Working more on that eye. The reference photo I used is from Photos for, for Artists and it was graciously donated by Samantha Georges. And I absolutely love this photo. Don't you just love it when I'm working off camera? And I never realize it until I play back the video and then I'm like, uh, dude, they can't even see what you're doing there. <laughs> ah, the joys of filming as an artist. Lots of layers. A lot more layers than I had with the first one, let me tell you. Off camera again, that's beautiful. <laughs> Slowly building it up. That's glass scene I have under my hand there that keeps my hand from uh, touching the paper because I don't want to get any of the oils of my hands on the paper or smudge my colored pencil work. And after doing one area with Gamsol, I'll move on to a different area until that dries.
It's actually surprising how many different colors you can find in their fur, from the yellow orchis to, I even used some Caput Morton and Caput Morton Violet in this. Back when I first got my Blick Studio pencils, I'd never even heard of those colors. <laughs> And it's starting to take shape a bit. I'm making sure to keep going in the direction of the fur. And the fur was going every which way on this piece. One thing I like about working on Stonehenge, while it can be pretty mm, tricky with the Gamsol because it likes to soak it in, it definitely burnishes beautifully. And when you blend out with the Gamsol, it's just so smooth and, and just wonderful. And starting the nose and the muzzle. That's one of my favorites too. Along with the eyes, I love doing the noses and the mouths. Lots of grays, a little bit of blue in there. Very little black, actually. Getting down in that chest fur. Oh, I did bring in a luminance white. I just saw that. I didn't tape this one down to my drawing cord. Normally, if I was working on a commission or a piece I was gonna sell, I tape it down and make sure the edges are protected. But this was just for my own curiosity to see if I've improved. That first fox has been the bane of my existence since I started colored pencils. <laughs> my first picture was Solitary Song, the beautiful uh, Western Meadowlark, which is our state bird. And for some reason that came out absolutely perfect. It was just beautiful when I finished it. So I got cocky. I was really excited that I did so well for my first time with uh, colored pencils. And so, yeah, I went into the fox, and the fox was not good. And there's the signature. She's done. Eight hours worth of work. So now let's compare it to the first one. What do you think? Has there been an improvement? Let me know in the comments what you think. Until next time. Keep creating.